So here we are at Google Earth, and uh, I'm sure you've seen uh, Soundly's uh, video about Lake Pontchartrain and the transmission towers and how he indicates with his P900 camera that they prove the curve of the Earth because they're, they got a curve and they seem to curve around the water. So here we are. Let's zoom in to where these things start. You can see that the towers start right here off I-10 and then you got one branch going this way and another branch going this way. So I'm going to start with this tower. I don't want to start with the junction tower because it's a little bit off position. So we're going to start with that one. And we're going to zoom into it quite a bit. And we're going to mark it. We're going to use the ruler. And we're going to mark it right here on the left side of the tower. And then we're going to zoom out. I'm going to go up a little bit to this marker right here. We're going to zoom back in. This marker is the last tower. The one next beyond it is uh, it's like a junction tower. It's a different type of tower, so we're not going to use it. We're going to use this one. I'm going to zoom in real far on this one. And we're going to mark it on the left side also. And we're going to save this line. We're going to call it the uh, TL line. Transmission lines. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to pan through these here. And you see that where we started right on the left. I'm going to use this tool here and just try and get the right trajectory. You see we're still on the left. Still tracking online. They're still in line with the first one. Trying to keep this tool in the center. Drifted a little bit off. Drifting off a little more. You can see now we're a little bit off the actual line that we started with. The towers are just a hair right. And moved back a little bit. Now they're moving a little to the left.
You can see it moving to the left. Now back to the right. Did you notice that? You see how that one is right of the line? And this one is left of the line. You see it's, we started out on that actual left part of that H figure. And we were on it for quite a while. And now we are, our red line is to the right of that. And in the very next tower, it's to the left of the line. I mean, the line is to the left of the tower. Okay, let's go a little further. Line is to the left. Line is to the left. Line is to the left. To the left. Now it's coming back on line. Back on line. You see what that'll do on a photograph when those towers veer to the right on a photograph. It's going to look like a curve. Because you've got perspective also. The towers are shrinking in perspective distance away. And then they start to curve a little to the right. That causes you to think that there's a hump somewhere. You see now they're back on line. Online, online, a little bit left, a little bit left, a little bit more, more left, a little more left, a little more left. You see there, it's kind of hard to see them right there, but it's just a little bit left of the line. See, it's more left of the line here. Left of the line. See, it's even, it's even going more left. More left. More left of the line. We're almost getting to the center. You see, we're getting close to the center of the tower. Almost in the center of the tower. In the center of the tower right here. Now it's even more to the center. You see we're in the center of the tower. Center of the tower. Center. 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 Even more to the, the, the lines moving more to the right, the towers moving more to the left, more to the left. More to the left. Move kind of moving more back to the center. More to the left. More to the left. Jeez. So you can see that these towers are not straight. Now, you see that? We were trucking along there with the towers, with the line in the center. And then all of a sudden, the line is back to the left edge of the tower. And that's where we started on the left edge. And you saw the towers go 
a little bit this way, a little bit that way, a little bit this way, a little bit that way. And the total span of the tower, if, if we zoom in there, and we measure the tower itself from this side of the tower to that side of the tower, let's change this to feet. It's 18.28, so uh, like about 18 feet across the top of the tower. So, so what we have here is a big curve. The towers start off and they drift to the left for many, many towers, and then they start to go back to the right, which causes a big bow or a big arc in the actual line of the tower. So if you use a P900 to photograph that, and crunch all those towers together, that bow gets very much exaggerated. Going to the left and then back to the right, add perspective to that, and you've got the appearance of a curve. These towers are like 950 feet apart, and the P900 makes them look like they're touching each other. So it's compounding that illusion. It's just an illusion. Plain and simple.